the power of a prosecutor. What are the problems with the prosecutor? The prosecutors have the most power in the justice system. The powers that they have makes a case heavily in favor of the prosecutor. The prosecutors have so much power available to them that any case that is presented to them uh, is heavily in favor of them and they usually come out on top. There is not a heavy emphasis on checks and balances within their circuit. What makes a prosecutor powerful? The prosecutors have the power to choose who they will charge. For every case that is presented to them, they can choose to charge them or to not bring legal action against the person. Prosecutors present, negotiate, and ch choose the charges that the defendant will face in the plea deal. They have power over the whole plea deal process and no one like goes in and steps in and makes sure it's fair. Prosecutors also choose the charges that the defendant will face if they take their case to court. So if they did not, do not take the plea deal, then they are given more charges that they have to face in court. Prosecutors also have access to unlimited resources since they work for the state they have almost unlimited budget compared to a defendant who works privately. Prosecutors are also never in the spotlight when they make mistakes. It always falls on the judge or the system as a whole. Why the prosecutors abuse the power they have? Prosecutors use the power they have excessively because it can help them further their career they if they if they put a certain amount of people in jail the numbers look good in their favor and they can climb the ladder and get to the highest position they can this is done at the cost of the freedom of the defendants prosecutors are also wired to believe that jail equals justice and even though it can be that sometimes the justice system is set at this moment so that the innocent do not have the best chance to fight their case and be proved innocent. What are the cons of prosecutors having too much power? Prosecutors tend to overcharge a person if they do not if they go to court so that the defendant would not want to be charged with a long sentence. So the defendant this is because of overcharging they if they decide not to take the plea deal the prosecutor will add more charges so that it looks appealing to take the plea deal and not take it to court innocent people could potentially be pressured into accepting a plea deal even though they are innocent since more cases end in plea deals, more people are being jailed or wrongly convicted of something they did not do. This is a strong negative because it could ruin people's lives for having something on their record. And it could ruin their future and just everything around them. Prosecutors could also cause someone who takes their case to court to serve a longer sentence than they actually should because of overcharging. So if you add more charges to their case then the years go up or the punishments go up and they end up having to serve a more harsh punishment because they did not accept a plea deal and if more people are being jailed this could lead to an overpopulation in the jails and cause crowding so the numbers the incarceration rates have gone up even though crime rate has gone down so less people have committed the incarceration less people have committed crimes but the incarceration rate has gone down since the 1990s violent crimes per 100,000 people has steadily gone down but at the same time the incarceration rate has gone up has recently taken a dip but is still really high compared to the crimes
so <coughs> the population per level of government the local have the highest amount of population then it's the state then it's the federal the federal really only deals with super serious crimes so that explains why theirs is significantly lower than the other local jails they don't take on the most serious crimes but they have the highest population and this is because prosecutors are wired to believe that jail fixes everything protections have recently turned into weapons according to balco defendants had grand juries as a protection but grand juries have been turned into weapons they are used to intimidate the defendant into accepting a plea deal because if they do not accept the punishment in front of them they could easily face a worse punishment through a grand jury this is because of overcharging and the jury could potentially find them guilty of all the extra charges that were added before before defendants would see the jury as a salvation since they can find you innocent and would or would give you a lesser sentence people would see the jury as an escape because you could use them to be found innocent or be given a lesser sentence because they can relate or they see but because of overcharging juries could also be 10 times scary than they were before why can a prosecutor overcharge the laws the laws are too broad they're not specific enough to a point where you can be charged of something you did not do so just because the crimes are related you can be fit under the category there are too many laws there are hundreds and hundreds of laws that are all broad and not specific those a hundred laws could cover cover a hundred a thousand different things and this is especially used for overcharging because if you're charged for three things in your plea deal it could turn into six or seven if you take it to a jury and that is why juries are so scary to the defendant nowadays so what's the answer short term and for change now would be to become a prosecutor if you become a prosecutor you would have to change the way that the prosecutors think you would have to think about reforming and not jailing everyone so if you focus on reform and them changing and becoming better members of society then let them off easier or give them chances and not just to jail them for everything the prosecutor that is trying to make change would also have to set it so that the defendant is not scared to challenge the legal system and take their case to court so if they don't accept the plea deal in front of you there should be no reason for overcharging and it should be good they should be they should feel comfortable enough taking it to a jury to hear so that they are heard overcharging would have to disappear and not be used by the prosecutor for prosecutors to change overcharging would have to disappear so that they cannot abuse it and jail more people and punish more people than should actually be punished the long-term answer would be to train prosecutors so that they focus more on reform instead of jail time for defendants almost every law would have to be changed so that it is specific and clear if you go through laws nowadays it would be like reading a different language there are so many things that can fit under one law criminal law and all of that should be made into a more specific this would be the hardest challenge because of the fact that you have to reform it at every level 
and change it and amend it and make more laws and then that would take for at the circuit to pass it and approve which would be the almost impossible challenge but it can be done prosecutors should also be held more accountable for putting unreasonable charges on a case that the defendant accepts on the plea deal so the prosecutor should be held under more scrutiny and should be held accountable for ruining a person's life or putting them in jail or making an innocent person take a plea deal and even though that is not common it still does happen the biggest answer would be to narrow every law down to a specific and clear event that way you can't be overcharged because they're similar or there's other laws that also mention a certain thing and it would be specific this is what you're charged for and this is like the time and the punishment 